Savannah Crisley is determined that her parents, Todd and Julie, will be released from prison as soon as possible. In an interview that was published on Thursday, March 14, Savannah, 26, expressed excitement for their appeal on April 19. It goes without saying that I hope to have them home later this summer. Savannah has been occupied parenting her two younger siblings, Grayson, 17, and Chloe, 11, as well as speaking up for her parents on social media after their alleged sentencing in 2023. According to Savannah, she was merely attempting to accomplish everything. It's a full-time job raising 17 and 11-year-olds, working and trying to provide a life for them, and battling lawyers day in and day out to get my parents back home. She went on to say that she intends to follow in Kim Kardashian's footsteps and attend law school if her parents are able to return home soon so she may carry on advocating for people who lack a voice. She said, if my mom comes home, I would. I promised Grayson that I would carry it out. Thus, it would be mom and Chloe if mom returns, and I would definitely return to school and pursue my legal career if both mom and dad did. It is never too late to pursue your aspirations. By the time I'm 30 or 32, I might just become a lawyer. 2019 saw the initial indictment of Todd, 54, and Julie, 51, on allegations of tax evasion, bank and wire fraud, and conspiracy. The Crisley Knows Best pair was found guilty in June 2022 following a protracted trial. After almost six months, the real estate tycoon was given a 12-year prison term, and his spouse was given a seven-year sentence. The pair has continued to act innocently. In January 2023, the two reported for their respective prison terms. While Julie started her term at the Federal Medical Center in Lexington, Kentucky, Todd started his at the Minimum Security FPC Pensacola in Florida. After a reduction of their sentences in 2023, Todd will now serve 10 years while Julie will serve 5. I believe that's why I'm in a better place with it, because I know that this is not my final destination, Todd stated in a podcast interview that was recorded in January and released after he was sent to prison. I have hope that the legal system will turn things around, even if I am aware that this might be my future for a little while. Additionally, I trust that the appellate court will see this for what it is. Savannah became passionate about advocacy not long after she saw her parents incarcerated. Why do we let folks down so often? In November 2022, she stated on her podcast, Unlocked, that it splits families apart. Observe all that we are experiencing. Is that fair? Not when there are rapists, killers, traffickers, and all these other people here, but still. They merely receive a warning. She went on, it all comes down to someone trying to make a point and us being in the spotlight. And it's really depressing. I think I've grown somewhat numb to it at this point, but my numbness has now evolved into rage, and I feel like I'm not giving up. There isn't an alternative. 